Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on Kemba Walker's crazy career accomplishments and how no one talks about it. Big shout out to Marcus Kinney who proposed this video idea and basically challenged me to do it. That's the power you guys have in the comments. So when I say give a thumbs up on this video for more and leave your feedback in the comments down below, I truly mean it. So with that, let's get started on today's topic. The last video I did was on Paul George and why I believe he's the most underrated player in the league. And in that, I mentioned a few other underrated players, but one completely slipped my mind and this player seems to slip from the minds of many others and that is Charlotte Hornets point guard Kemba Walker. This guy is literally the definition of solid when it comes to stats. Over his six year career, he's averaged 18.4 points per game, 5.4 assists and 3.9 rebounds to go along with 1.4 steals. But before we talk about his NBA impact, let's go back a bit. Growing up in the Bronx, Walker would get kicked off the court for being too small. He would constantly get told how he couldn't do this and that. He's only six foot one, but his drive put the brakes on those who doubted him. Going into his junior year at UConn in 2010-11, the Huskies weren't ranked in the preseason. They were a team of eight underclassmen and five upperclassmen that were written off by the media. After rising to fourth in the country, they lost their last four or five games in Big East play and finished ninth in the conference. So that meant that the Huskies would have to play Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and run the table to win the tournament. And they did. Five games, five days, five wins. After winning the tournament, UConn entered March Madness as a three seed and people thought they were spent. After crushing Bucknell, Walker got hot down the stretch against Cincinnati to secure seven straight wins. UConn's Sweet 16 matchup was against Kawhi Leonard, San Diego State Aztecs, who were leading with 9-18 remaining, when his teammate Jamal Franklin bumped Walker going into the timeout. It was over after that. From that point on, I was just in a different zone. Oh. And the little guy with the monster ticker, drain it! Run for you, Walker dueled Arizona's Derek Williams in the Elite Eight, and UConn won after Arizona rimmed out a late three for the win. After two more grueling Final Four games, UConn had won 11 straight and a national title with Walker claiming NCAA All-Tournament honors. It was one of the greatest runs in NCAA history, from playing the first night of the Big East Tournament to winning the national championship. Walker's impact on his college team was huge for the time being and after he left also, as young freshman Shabazz Napier obviously learned something from Walker that year, and the 6-1 guard starred in another UConn title in 2014. So we see Walker's lasting impact on UConn basketball, and in the NBA he is having a big impact as well. Last year when Walker was on the court, the Hornets offense was top 7 in the league, and dropped to bottom 4 when he was on the bench. If you say, eh, to this, then here's a comparison to show you how huge this actually is. You know how many sports commentators said last regular season that LeBron should be MVP because when he's on the bench, the Cavs just fall apart? Well, it was true. When LeBron was on the court for the Cavs last season, their offense was top 3 in the league. But when LeBron was off the court, it fell to bottom six. Remember, Walker's Hornets fell even lower when he sat. This is not saying Walker's more valuable because when LeBron sat, the point differential was actually greater than when Walker sat. But still, LeBron is someone we say the Cavs and the NBA really can't live without, and Walker is someone we forget sometimes plays in the NBA. They both have that much impact on their teams. Also, in a list of players with over 125 spot at possessions last season, Walker came in fourth over stars like Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and Carmelo Anthony. Although Kemba hasn't yet won a playoff series out of two attempts, he's incredibly underrated for what he has accomplished throughout his entire career. And with the additions of Malik Monk, who can create his own shot, and Dwight Howard, who may be able to draw some attention down low, and with the weak Eastern Conference this year, I believe Walker can lead the Hornets to a playoff spot and win a series. So let me know what you think in the comments down below though. Will Kemba Walker and the Hornets win a playoff series this year? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. And we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out.